Hi, I'm Pamela Laker Robinson, founder and executive director of PLR Consulting in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Brandi Villa, founder and director of Belay Consulting, a local uh, education evaluation firm in Atlanta, Georgia. As most books um, focus on overcoming barriers of women in STEM, particularly women of color in STEM, they really just focus on the stories themselves, right? They focus on the barriers and then they highlight the successes of the women. But I wanted to give voice to the process. So what actually takes the women from that place of overcoming the barriers or understanding what the barriers are to getting to a place where they can process their trauma and they can transform themselves into whatever else needs to be done. I was inspired to participate in the project because I've had the privilege of working in the space of um, underrepresented minorities uh, pursuing STEM, and I've seen um, kind of the, the resilience and the persistence of so many women of color as they pursue careers um, in STEM for various reasons. And I was just super inspired by many of the stories um, during my work in the evaluation space. Actually, the main audience is for anyone, and that's a, an academician, uh, a researcher in African American studies, gender studies, anyone that's mentoring young girls or young women in STEM, community folks that really have the mission to empower, as Brandy said, empower, engage, encourage, and just hold steadfast to making sure that these young women and these young girls have a voice in STEM. I would say that it's important um, not only for women of color and people who are minting women of color, but um, people in positions of, of power in these institutions um, that are written about because I think it's really important that, um, that the experiences of women of color in STEM fields, in academia um, and industry are acknowledged and understood. And I think that, um, that everyone can benefit from, uh, from sharing these experiences. STEM inequity and social justice have really taken a, a front seat in society today. This book could not have come out at a better time. Um, the, so the purpose, actually, in the mission of the book is really to help women of color understand the barriers that they probably will face more than likely as they traverse through the STEM landscape, but also to equip them with the tools for navigating uh, the terrain and discuss the importance of processing STEM trauma and lastly, to celebrate their personal and professional transformations. And so by taking a deep dive into um, the role of intersectionality for women of color in STEM, the book actually provides meaningful context to how institutions, systems, departments, and more importantly, individuals can move forward and take a step to developing processes and policies that actually provide STEM equity um, for marginalized groups, as well as create a space for true innovation and diversity of thought. There's a mission of empowerment. I think one of the um, one of the strongest barriers for women of color and marginalized groups in um, STEM is a sense of isolation that comes out of um, of experiencing what um, what is experienced. And I think through the transformative storytelling that occurs in this book, um, I think that hopefully will uh, women of color uh, can experience uh, less isolation. They can identify with um, parts of other people's stories and hopefully in that manner be, um, be empowered. I think it actually covers the importance of collaborations between women of color. Um, and it actually provides a space um, to build community. So through the book and through the lens of these women, you hear the storytelling, you hear the voices. And oftentimes, people that are reading the, the book, reading the stories, can find themselves in the same place for these women. So I think what it actually does, it, it actually creates a, a STEM ecosystem for these women through collaborations, through um, shared stories, shared lived experiences that oftentimes are very separate 
from the actual publication itself. And so through this publication, the women have continually continued to meet and form ecosystems within themselves as well as form ecosystems outside of the publication. I would say that sharing the personal experiences is very different um, when when much of the research uh, focuses on um, success in the world of STEM being kind of a skills-based and an action-based process. But there is really a, a very um, a, a very critical emotional component um, that I feel like is not examined thoroughly in the literature. And so I feel like this book um, begins to address that in a way that, that many other publications have, uh, have, have neglected in the past. We had actually a live uh, book reveal and table talk, which was very successful. And from that, we've had quite a bit of viewership, quite a few inquiries about how young women can get involved or become mentees to the contributing authors of the book. Additionally, from there, um, we have actually had a couple of organizations that are seeking to um, begin uh, uh, programs of mentoring um, as far north as Chicago, as far south as Stetson College, Stetson University. So really glad to see that the voices of these women are finally heard and that people are paying attention um, and wanting to hold space for other voices for young women. It really couldn't be released at a better time. I feel like um, though this country is in a, a difficult time right now, we are um, it, we're in a moment where we're prepared to to begin to hear these stories. And I feel like even though when Pamela first set out on this project, um, the political climate was very different and the uh, the social climate was very different at that time. Um, but it it seems uh, to me to be absolutely perfect timing um, and the right moment, even though it's it's later than it should be. But um, but I, I do hope that we are prepared to really take seriously um, these experiences. And I know that there is a lot of momentum around mentoring and creating space, as Pamela said, for, um, for new voices and, and preparing the pathway uh, to make it a little bit easier on the next generation of women scientists and engineers. After the book release, uh, I was contacted, myself and another contributor, from the local section of the American Chemical Society. And so they have asked us to now come and um, share, share some of the readings from the book. The Illinois Mathematics and Science Academy in Chicago, Illinois has really reached out and not only has asked um, us to really consider um, helping them with a mentor program, but also developing maybe a workshop of some sort to really help these young girls in STEM find positive identity and find their footing in, in, the, in the STEM landscape. Um, and then as I mentioned, Stetson University in uh, Florida has started looking at the book as a possible resource for one of their classes and as well as their um, Center for Teaching and Learning um, in their quest to become more uh, STEM equitable, if you will and to just shed light on some of the intersectionality um, problems that women of color face. suitable for use in your course syllabus and as an integral resource for research advancements within your department, this publication should be included within your institution's library along with these related publications. Offered in print, ebook, print plus ebook, and as a part of IGI Global's Emphasize Books, this publication is available for purchase directly through IGI Global's online bookstore, as well as many other major booksellers and platforms, such as EBSCOhost, Gobi, 
ProQuest, and Oasis. Recommend to your librarian today.